Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization V, Gods and Kings as the Maya, where we are taking over the entire world via the plague. Actually, mostly through rapid, rapid expansion. Uh, our demographics look excellent. We are only number two in soldiers. Uh, Boudicca is slightly ahead of us, but I'm not terribly concerned about that. We've got a pretty, pretty choked in to her little area. Um... She could conceivably try something here. We don't have a ton of troops, but it should be slow moving. Um, I, overall, I'm feeling really good about our situation. Um, pretty well. well. We were also fourth in... Oh, population, which I think is probably still a little deceptive. I think we have more population units. It's just that our cities are relatively small still. Uh, but they are growing. We've got lots of happiness going around. We should be able to blow the, uh, the cap off our, uh, off our population pretty handily. I'm still debating maybe building some more workers. Uh, because as our cities grow, we really need a lot more improved terrain. So I think I might do that. We are making a lot of money, although it's deceptive because we're in a golden age. So we'll reassess the situation as soon as the golden age is over. Other than that, we are at peace with everyone. Um, some people might be a little scared of us, but I don't think it's going to be much of an issue. And we are going to cruise towards a scientific victory. So I'm not planning any more military conquests at this point. I'm simply going to uh, aim to um, solidify my position as much as possible. Make sure I can't be attacked. You know, I think I may have too many forces over here. I definitely need a few more over here. I've got one guy here. Yeah, I suppose I need to be a little worried about the, the Danes. Oh, which is what all these troops are here for. Um, what I will probably do is... Hmm. It's pretty hard. There's no way for me to get a range unit behind the river. And if I put them here... If I maybe move my musketman here and put a range unit here, the range unit would be vulnerable to melee, um, but only moderately so. Or I could just put a couple musketmen here, but then they're vulnerable to being bombarded. Still, I could probably counterattack in that particular situation. I think that's what I'd rather do. Do, do, do. You know what? No, I will move the crossbowmen down here. Uh, I don't know, for all I know, it's like this is all contrary to what I want to do from the end of the last episode, but it has been several days or a week since I played the last time, so I'm going to try to get as much done today as I can. Uh, this episode can't be super long, though, because I have to go and pick someone up partway through, but then I intend to, to play. I've got a free weekend here where I want, to, I want to get this game done because it is so fun. Choose production. Does sound seem low to anyone else? Uh, hopefully it's just me. Let me double check things here. Um, it's recording that. And our sound settings are where they were before, right? Audio. Yeah, all right. So, um, yeah, choose protection, production and tickle. And tikal, but tickle is funnier. Um, right, so building the bank there is definitely good. Beyond that, I'm not sure what we need. Um, we may end up needing more happiness at some point, but for now, we're okay. We don't really need to push out a whole bunch more faith. Uh, actually, walls, probably worth doing. Actually, aqueducts wouldn't be the end of the world either. Um, I would feel good building some walls, though, because this is a front, and Askia is definitely has the potential of declaring on us. I wonder where this guy's going. Um, probably he's going to be moving some troops here. He'll kind of aggro on our guys here, and they're going to be pretty well defended, but just in case. Uh, you have finished something as well. Oh, we'll probably... Windmill is very, very good. Uh, the production bonus in general, and then bigger production with buildings is nice, but the water mill it builds a lot faster. It's only plus one production, but I think it's probably better to build that first, and then library and banks and all that are all, all very good, but I think I'm going to go for the growth and production um, as early as possible. And we still need to see if we can't scout out the last couple of uh, people here. I'm going to keep sending the uh, the knight, the Knigget, down along the south, because we've got a caravel coming on uh, along the north. Got growth. Jerusalem wants faith. Go figure. And next turn. Turns go pretty fast when you're not at war. Open borders. Wow, look at her lose money. Interesting. Very interesting. We don't really need more happiness right now, so I don't think I'm going to trade her anything. I'd like to keep her in like a tight, uncomfortable position. Um, I'm okay with open borders. It's not actually a problem. Who knows? Maybe she wants to declare war against someone else. Oh! Japan! How you doing, buddy? I don't think you're going to trade with me because it's a little too early. You've got lots of luxury resources. You've got a good amount of gold per turn. We're going to be back once our, our relations have chilled a little. Gandhi has completed Notre Dame. All right, so... 
that's fine. I don't remember if we were building it somewhere. I feel like we probably may have started building it somewhere. Um, because it was like, it's decent. We'll probably need the happiness at some point, but it's not the end of the world, and we did delay it for a long time. We've kind of delayed all the wonders for a long time, speaking of. Um, now that's pretty good, the Taj Mahal. Of course, so are many other things, like a university and such, but you know what? I think I will go for the Taj Mahal. The extra little happiness is good. Another golden age is certainly going to be very nice, because the money is extraordinarily helpful. Um, yeah, we can live without the Sistine Chapel, though. Finished. So we didn't finish it, we just probably can't build it. Yeah. So we were trying for it, but oh well. That's okay. Um, I think you will build a castle, just because you are on the border. And if it dissuades them from declaring war on us, that's going to be fine. We'll be able to cruise to scientific victory that much easier. Um, you know, extra culture actually wouldn't be terrible, because we could grab some more of this terrain over here. But, uh, workshop first, I think. What's crab? Well, Sydney's unhappy. Good, good, good. Good that the denunciation went away, not that Sydney's unhappy or whatever. Um, we've got lots of happiness buildings we could build here, but we don't really have a need for it yet. We can still build the courthouse whenever we want to eliminate a bunch of unhappiness, but again, we don't really need it yet. Although it can lead to more golden ages, that's fine. And I will build them if I had nothing else to build, but I think a windmill, windmill into banks and things, I like that a lot. Okay. Watermill got done here, which is lovely. Hmm... I don't think we need the walls here so much, so we'll go for a library, library banks, all that jazz. Oh, oh, that would be funny. Wouldn't that be funny? If we just declared war in Japan, stole a settler. I mean, what's he ever going to do to us? He's a million bajillion miles away. Well, he might kill our knight, which I actually wouldn't be very happy about. I'm not worried about him beating us. I'm not worried about him being a threat to us at any point whatsoever. I think I'd rather just ignore his settler. Which is crazy. It's so crazy. God, I can't really just ignore the settler, can I? Um... How do I find out his current trade deals? Oh, diplomacy overview. Global politics. Friendly with Mongolia. Well, he probably doesn't like me then. I'm really tempted to steal that. Eh, screw it. What was I saying about not declaring war on people? Yoink. We'll see how long we can go before we can peace out. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Next turn. Golden Age is about to run out. Let's see what our money does. I probably could have, like, looked at something to calculate it, but that requires more brain than I have. Cape Town. Allied with unknown. Interesting. Uh, workshop is done here, which is very nice. Um, you know what I want to do here? I'm going to buy this tile. There we are. Just because... Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I like that. Um, windmill, maybe? Granary for extra growth? Yeah, that wouldn't hurt. Growth here is a little bit slow, what with being in a desert and all. Um, I don't have the... Uh, Darn it, I keep turning it off because it clutters the map. But I really... you got to play with the resource icons on. They're just... They're so strong. We do have a wheat. Only one. Because the uh, the granary gives you plus one food on wheat, bananas, and deer. So this would be three food for one maintenance. And I think it's going to be called for here. Let's do it. This unit is fully healed, which is lovely. I think... I think we're going to pull the cannon back to the hill, actually. We're moving him here. 
and we'll move him into the city like that. And that'll be a pretty good defensive structure. Hello, Kuala Lumpur. Nice to meet you. You're allied with no one. I'm gonna have to double check any quests we have. So we're still making 54 gold per turn, which is very nice. Um, so I'm gonna have to be a little, a little worried around here, just in case I run into some Japanese troops. So far, so good. Wow, Cape Town has a lot of troops. And you are going to make... Do we want him to go to the ocean? It's a good question. It's a good question, people on the internet, who didn't ask me a question. Um, I don't know. I'm a little worried about a Japanese ship being around. And I know there's nothing on land, so I guess... Oh, either way, it figures... One step through the ocean is faster. All right, we'll move you here, and then we'll manually move you some more next turn. You can fortify. Gandhi entered Renaissance. Met Cape Town. Manila's decaying. I would like to keep Manila. What do you want? You want Great Admiral and culture, right? Oh, the Himeji Castle. I think I actually might be building that one, too. Golden Age ended, right? Pagoda has been purchased, which is very good. At the city state. All right. Next turn or not? Yeah, let's do that move. It's going to be a little bit vulnerable, but but not terribly so. Mm, you fortify. You go on alert mode. You go on alert mode. Dock there. Oh, for crying out loud. Really? I need to go and block that guy. I guess we're just going to have to sort of... If we move here... Can we move there with that? No. If we move here, then he can't double move to take my workers. So we'll do that. And then we'll move him there. Ooh, Mount Kalash. I don't know what Mount Kailash is. I'm going to have to look that up after. Actually, I'm sure someone in the comments will tell me. Educate the rest of us, people. Tell me where Mount Kailash is, what makes it important as a natural wonder. I mean, it gives us lots of faith, but, you know, I don't know how that translates to the real world. And what are you doing here? Are you just supposed to be babysitting this city? Yeah, I guess so. You can go on alert mode. And you finished a forge, which is good. A windmill wouldn't hurt. And yeah, we'll probably build that next. More production. All right. And probably the same thing here. Sure. Oops. I meant to check those. Research agreement. And I have to give you gold because I'm ahead. So I'll get more good out of it. Now this is hoping she won't declare war on me. Which is a little bit risky, but what the hell. We want a science victory. I should actually be making a lot more of these research agreements. I should have them with everyone. Scientific theory sounds pretty good. Public schools are going to be awesome. Science Academy, Lumber Mill bonuses, yeah. Um, and what do we want next? I don't know. Um, jumping up to dynamite would certainly be very interesting. Artillery is very powerful. It has the, uh, the triple range, which is worth a lot. Meanwhile, it gives us the Lancer, which isn't a big deal. Arsenal, which isn't really a big deal. Kremlin, which is... Mm, meh. I was thinking the Civ 4 version of the Kremlin, which is why I got excited. Um, hmm. Go for rifling right away, which actually is stupendously good. Two free great artists? Not sure if that's important. We don't really need the culture. I felt like there was something we were supposed to be beelining to. There's just there's just so much that's good. It's a lot of gold. I think maybe rifling into dynamite. And then we're going to be really good, like, militaristically, basically until the end of the game. And we're in pretty good shape now. It's not like I'm panicking. That's weird that we didn't have vision there. There's a lot more left to this continent than I thought. Oh, hello, Japanese trireme. Uh, oh right, I can't bombard. This is a melee ship. 
And you, have you actually moved into their territory? You have, too. Um, I guess we'll just take out the barbarian encampment. That works. And at this point, I'll just automate this guy, because he doesn't really need babysitting. You know... You know, I need more cities. Look at all this primo real estate. Oh. Never mind. Purchase. Settler. Because you know. Who needs happiness and money? Boop. Bam. Because we can fit in two very nice cities over here. We'll get a little bit of XP there, because why not? Even though he's not in our borders. No longer friends. Salt to Harold. Really? You don't have a whole lot of money. So I don't... Do I not have silk right now? No. Okay, just double checking. Pretty sure that they only show you the stuff you're missing. But I'm not 100% sure. Would you do silk for ivory? No. I'm not like asking for his last one, am I? Hmm. Walls are done. Um probably prioritize those public schools. Yeah. Gotta get those beakers flowing, right? So library into university. I should maybe prioritize them more all over. Oh no pyramid. Um but at the same time, like Production is so key. Um, wow, can I afford these tiles? No, and I really should be grabbing them. Hmm. Now we gotta get like, we gotta get the workshops and things going. I think at this point. Right, so, we're going to be expanding out one, two, three, four. I don't even know if we need a coastal place. I mean, it can work the fish, but who cares? And they're not even a luxury resource, right? One, two, three, four. No, I guess here is fine. And then build another one further up here. I don't suppose Japan is interested in peace, huh? No. I regret nothing! Uh, so we're settling here, so one, two, three, and then fourth spot right here. Seems pretty good. It might piss off those guys, the Vikings, but I think we'll be okay. Probably should build a couple more military units, especially since right now actually I don't have money to buy them, which is making me a little bit nervous. Hmm. Sure, I accept. Strengthen the bonds of friendship. Great merchant. So he's going to a city state with that. Promote a unit. Oh, lovely. Um, bonus versus naval. Bonus versus cities. No, let's go with the bonus versus naval. And next, we need to enter friendly territory so we can heal. You are not going to be exploring because I want you around where I'm going to be placing my cities. So, move to maybe here and put you on alert mode and that should be pretty good. 